Hi, my name is Maddie, and you're watching Day by Day Vlogs, my favorite YouTube channel. Well, that's all I gotta say. Hope you enjoy the video. Bye! Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. And we are starting out bright and early. We have lots of fun things planned for today and I can't wait to take you guys along with us. It has been over three years that we've been daily vlogging and I'm shocked. Over three? Over three years and I'm shocked to discover that I still love it every single day. Like, I don't ever wake up and say, oh, I have to vlog today or oh, I have to edit today. Sam and I edit the video together. First Sam goes and takes out all the junk and puts together a rough edit and then I edit again and fin do the finished product. And when it's my turn to edit, I'm always like, oh, I can't wait to see oh, what happened cool. today. Even though we already lived it, it's always fun for me. I hope this job stays fun all the time. All right, we are discovering a phenomenon that we've never discovered before in the history of our life before before we started going to a barn. So when did they go to March, when did they go to camp last? At the beginning of February, two weeks ago, Sophie got these boots, see them? To go to camp because her other boots got so ruined. So these boots were like brand new boots two weeks ago and this is what they look like today. It's from all the poop and pee at the barn. Great, Gabby said, just blame the horses. It's not the horses' fault. I'm just saying that we have eaten through one, two, three, four pairs of boots this winter, and the winter is, wait, that's three. Four pairs of boots this winter, and the winter's not even over. Like, I don't even know what the heck is happening. There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground. Try both of them on. Yeah, they fit better. They're just really nice. Yeah, because they're, they're a different nice. kind. One store down, one more store to go to hopefully find us boots. Gabby tried on a pair of rubber boots and she's just not used to that feel. So if we got a pair of rubber boots that are, I don't know how long those are going to last us. to see another farm and I'm praying that this is a farm there's for us horses in it. because there's no horses no horse there's horses there. next there next door you know you're in a farm when you're walking through mud so he's got on her new boots so that's a big barn it's a big acres I'm hungry every time I'm at a farm I'm hungry so some electricity so this would be like a little feed room if it was. Oh, oh this fat makes Ew. it too. All right. All right. This is scary. Sam, I do not know where you're taking me. Okay. So this. Whoa! Looks like there's chickens in here before. So you bring your barns, your horses through there. Yeah, probably. Sylvie and I are chickens. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm in the barn. Gabby and I climbed up through this hole. <laughs> almost fall. Almost tripped. And here's the barn. Big, big barn. We'll have to uh, fix her up. Or, oh, that's why. See the big hole? That's why the floor broke in because all the water came in. Oh, so we'd have to fix that. <laughs> yeah, and it's directly above. Yeah. So we'd have to fix. I mean, you could pretty much put a tack room up here, really. You know? Look at these. 
these. Those are fortunes. You could sell these for lots of money. Those are. Yeah, the casks. floor feels like it. Okay, the floor is kind of spongy, but we're going to brave it. And brave it and go on it. Yeah, you have to go. I can't go. Tell me what's in it. <laughs> just junk. All right, I can't. This too spongy for Dad. I think I might fall through the floor. All right, let me see through the hole. See what I can see. Oh, treasure. <laughs> we can get all this treasure with it. If we bought this one. <laughs> I like the barn though. We get all this <laughs> stuff if we got this barn. I'd like to charge them like a thousand bucks to get rid of the stuff, and then deducted from our price and then we can sell all this stuff especially those old casts they're like 100 bucks each <laughs> at least and so whoo let's go slow watch your step right there yeah and don't step right there. whoa yeah all right careful sophie is your dad in love with this barn do you like the barn Oh. oh, good lord. <laughs> kind of scary to me. So, uh, this is the acres, and the view apparently is amazing. Wait, there might be frogs. No, no frogs in winter. It's still winter. They could be high for me. Oh, can... So, oh, there's the good. pond. There's a pond there. Huge pond. This is a massive pond. Why would you want to fill it in? It's a deep, massive pond. Because I want to go riding. But she said that there's property way at the back there. Goes all the way back and there's so many trails of, there's trails back there. Hey, someone pull it. Okay. Pull. All right, go. Nice and warm. Electric heat though. That's a cute little kitchen. It's cute. Yeah, Gabby's like, it has a bar and I want it. So it has electric heat? Electric heat. So this would be the living room. Does that work? How do you get to do it? How do you get to do this? We'll go through upstairs. Oh, okay. So, if we bought this house, that would be gone. We could go through there, right? Yeah, that's the door. Yeah. It's kind of cute. Help me. Sorry. Alright, so this is the upstairs. This would be bedroom number one for Sophie. And it's got a closet. Just a little extra filled up right now. It actually has a nice smell in this house. So, oh, hi. <laughs> that's super cute. You have the best room. and this is just a little closet. Oh, this is a huge room. Huge room, two double closets, massive bed, lots of dresser space, some built-in shelves. This is nice. Okay, so then this is another area. This is a perfect homeschool area. Cute up here. Well, then we'd have to go up in your room. Oh, there's another stairs that you could go up. <coughs> this cupboard here would be amazing for all our homeschool books and stuff. And these stairs are nice. But it's certainly not up here. Go down there. <coughs> so fixed up, this could be a really cute little house. Oh, did we even see a bathroom? But it doesn't have a bathroom. That just would be the old shed. Oh. Let's see. So, okay, so this would eventually be a bathroom. Could we just bathroom, have to put it yeah. in, and then that's a shed. Yeah. Attached shed. That's just a little. Okay, what the? So this is a laundry room. Ow, I'm stepping on something. Oh, if I can even get in here. Oh. This is for friend people. <laughs> Okay, so this is the actual bathroom, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you doing okay down there? Or? Yeah, there's a spider. There's a spider? Alright, you can go back up. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that would be cool. All right, well, let's go look at the other part of the property. No, let's go down this path. All right, so basically, this is kind of neat. I don't know, I'm a thing for old rundown houses that you could fix I up. I like it. Look at but that the huge problem hay bale. Is, I hope that we get that huge hay bale. It's legit at the top of our price range. I hope it's at all So the there wouldn't be as much money to fix it up, and this house <laughs> needs the most fixing up. Hey, Mom, my beef I can live Like, in this there. would be such a good run-in. I know. See, like this? We need to add some roofs. Yeah. Mom, can we not get metal roofs? This would be like the best run in ever. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that rope is for. It's weird. The reason the price is so high is because of the location. It's really close to town. Yeah, I have no words for the house though. And the barn. Yeah, and this is where your horse would come in. So let's go all the way to the back. You guys want to? Yeah. I'll show you guys if we can. This is it though. This is like, okay, come on. This is so charming. Like you could shoot a movie here. It's so cool. Like that's my favorite part of the whole house. The thing I hate about this house is that, is that it has those things. Burrs? Well, Burrs. get used to it, sister. That's what country li living is like. I feel like, wait, is there like- I don't know if we're near the pond. Like how do you get over there? Well, Stay we on the grass. Went over there, I then went over there, I then tried to go. Yeah, over. so that's the hill, and over there is all the property. Like all the property is over there, and there's trails. Oh, I think we're in the middle of the pond, to tell you the truth. We are. All right, let's back up. I feel like we're so want to farm so bad that we buy anything. I think that's the stage we're at. Every time we look at a farm, it gets bought in so fast. Another thing she said was that I asked if they were going to take all the stuff and she said probably not. And that's a lot of stuff that we'd have to get rid of. That's a big huge expense. But there's some canoes in there. That sale. Yeah, it would be a big yard sale. And get rid of everything. Oh my gosh. It's, it's so nice though. Gabby, tell me the truth. Would you live in that house? I said yes. But the other house was so much nicer. It was smaller. You'd live in this house? Yeah. What's wrong with you guys? Yeah, it's super old. The house oh it has God. like a lot of really fun features, a lot of charm. Wow, it's amazing. It's steep. It's steep. Imagine our horses walking up here. So this is all hay fields, and then it's got these paths through it. All right, so we are at the top of the hill now. No. <sighs> and I'm huffing and puffing. <sighs> oh my God. And that's the property. And it goes back into the trees. Past, yeah. 25 acres of, of trails. Through a cross country course. Yeah, you could have a cross country course. So yeah, it goes all the way back to the tree line. All the way in that hill. It's so pretty. It is so pretty up here. Think how skinny I would be. Like, legit, the trails are an unsa insane. Gabby just wants to gallop her horse in here. Yeah, be so cool. Holy cow, I think I'm dying. I'm starving. There go our galloping horses. Okay, so I'm halfway to the top of the hill. Nam's way up there with the real estate agent. Almost to the top of the hill. But this is the pond here that's right outside the house. There's the house behind and there's the barn. And my kids are sold, you guys. This is not at the top of our price range. It'll be sold just like that because we have a lot of money left over to renovate. This one is less property than the other house and almost double the price. Like almost $200,000 more than the other house. But it's gorgeous here. This is the whole cistern. Like the cistern looks like it's in great shape. That, it looks like something you see in a movie. For oh. That's really tall. Yeah, like wow. It is really cool. It goes way up there and then there's, there's a lid up there. It still has it on there. 
Yeah, that would be fun. Pros about that house. I loved the house, you guys. It was a nightmare, that house, but it had such good light. And if it wasn't all shut off, like the doorways and stuff, it would be really cute. I really like the house. I think that we could work with the house. It needs two new bathrooms, but I think we could work with the house and I liked it. I thought it was cute and I thought it was big enough for us. Um, I loved the property. Loved the property. I could live in that property. Um, cons about the house. It would be so much work. So much work. The barn needs to be totally fixed. The house needs to be totally fixed. It needs two new bathrooms. Um, and there's a monster sized pond right outside the barn. Like right outside the barn. Um, but I could work with that. Lots of mosquitoes. The biggest con mosquitoes. of all is the price. It is like the price is so high you guys like it's crazy how much they're asking they're asking double what that other house that needed a lot of work it is so i don't know look i don't understand a 60 acres a farm the house was small but there was enough and the work was almost done and nobody liked that house a house that's fallen apart the sidewall is falling apart from the house it could fall down any minute even though it hasn't in 10 years or something. The house smells good, you guys. It smells so nice. All right, you guys, I'm gonna end today's video right here because I already know it's gonna be really long. And I just wanted to share one little thing with you guys, super quick. Um, we are gonna make a big change to our channel this starting today. So what's gonna happen? Um, basically, YouTube has suggested that to get around all of the little issues that they have going on right now, that we should be posting three days in advance. So tomorrow, um, if you're watching this video right now, tomorrow you will watch another video that is not our daily um, vlog, and the next day you will watch another video um, that is not our daily vlog, but both will be really good videos. And on the third day, we will pick up back on our daily vlog. So you're not gonna miss anything, you're not gonna miss any days, it's gonna keep on going, but in between you're gonna have two videos that are not our daily vlog so that we're three days ahead. It's just something that they recommend that we do, so we're gonna try it, see if it works, hopefully, um, and nobody gets confused at the process. If you guys wanna keep up to date with what is happening in our lives, like for when we get our horse and when we're looking at horses, you're gonna wanna follow our social media. So make sure that you're subscribed and tap the notification bell. So follow us on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook so that you guys can get all the information of what's going on as soon as it happens. I'm sorry that we have to do this. It's something that has been recommended to um, benefit our channel because of the things that YouTube is changing around right now. Um, but I hope that nobody, um, I hope it is a painless process and we will see you guys in a couple of days. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.